Hello everyone. Now we come to the most delicate part, which is choosing the right sequence to perform a multiple sequence alignment. To choose the right sequences, you have to carefully select the sequences. Um, these sequences could be uh, members of the same protein family and or, or share common ancestor. So you have to know some guidelines to pick up your sequences because it's really a bit of art to choose the right sequences. Of course, you can use any database you'd like to use, like UniProtKB or even uh, NCBI protein database. Uh, for example, uh, when to build a multiple sequence alignment, you have to know, do you want to, would like to go to the protein database or DNA database? So do you would like to, uh, to go for proteins uh, or DNA? So of course, uh, proteins whenever possible is much better because it gives you more information. And, and you can turn it back after that to uh, DNA. Don't use many sequences. Uh, start with from 10 to 15 sequences and avoid aligning more than 50 sequences because simply this will make a lot of problems for you. Uh, don't use uh, very different sequences. So sequences that has less than 30% identical to more than half uh, of the other uh, sequences is often cause trouble. So don't use uh, sequences that are really, really very different sequences from each other. Uh, don't use also identical sequence because it's uh, it's never help. It's it's, it's also uh, could make um, a lot of overlaps and problems. So try to avoid sequences that are ninety percent identical. Uh, but if, if this is necessary for your uh, experiment or this is necessary for your study, so it's no problem, you can use it, depending on what you are looking for. Uh, partial sequence also make problems, so difficult comparing. Make sure with, uh, if you have short fragment or partial sequences, I myself try to avoid anything that threatens partial sequence. Try to always use the complete sequence to get the complete picture what you are looking for. Uh, also try to avoid uh, sequences that have repeated domain because it could cause trouble. So uh, especially if the number of domains are different. Uh, in this case, you can extract domains by yourself using some programs like Dotlet or Nali. Uh, also, if you still cannot generate proper alignment, uh, you can of course use some uh, local multiple alignment methods such as Gibbs Sampler or Pratt. In this case, you have many uh, steps. You can put your sequence like here, like in Pratt, for example. You can put your sequence here, this is step one, and after that, try to choose the right parameters for yourself. And, uh, for carrying out phylogenetic tree analysis, you have to uh, you have to translate your uh, first, of course, translate your DNA to protein as we mentioned before, and then perform uh, a multiple alignment of your protein, and then thread back your protein uh, your protein back to DNA using two uh, program, which uh, something like Paltonal or uh, Protogen. Protogen is a part of the tea coffee uh, package, so you can use it uh, also. And here you can see Protogen. Here, turning amino acids uh, into CD nucleotide, CDS uh, nucleotide alignment. So you can just put your uh, paste your sequence here, and you can submit your sequence, and that will turn the amino acids to back to the DNA. So as we said, so you start with the, if you, if you start with the protein, there's no problem. But if you start with the uh, DNA, and then you can turn it uh, to protein, and then make the alignment, and then turn it back to uh, DNA using protein. Choosing the right number of sequences, as we said, as we mentioned before, should not exceed uh, 10 to 15 sequences. This is a su for suitable cases, of course, but if it's more, it will make a lot of problem, including hard computing, hard building, and alignment is difficult, displaying, and of course, even using the, the big alignment uh, is, uh, is a problem with large sets of uh, sequences and also also the accuracy of the alignment uh, also will have some trouble. Uh, don't use, as we said, as we mentioned also, don't use this uh, so similar or so different. So try to uh, be compromised between similarity and um, or differences. So that's why uh, you have to uh, 
pick up uh, the right sequence for your study. Not so different, not so uh, similar. The general rule is uh, that you want them to be as distantly related as possible without requiring too many gaps in order to properly align. This is a general rule that you can use. Always keep it in your mind for picking the right sequences. Uh, there is two things multiple sequence alignment program really don't like as we said as we mentioned uh, the very different uh, sequences so sequences that are distantly related very distantly related or uh, what that because it's, it will need a lot of insertion and deletion uh, to properly align this so you will put a lot of gaps uh, inside of course, how to get your sequence? Of course, you can use a lot of servers to do that, including plus servers. So you can put your uh, sequence. The, the first one you would like to uh, to uh, to search similar sequences and plus it, and then try to get uh, se sequences that was good annotation and experimental information. So this will bring back with the, with the, these sequences will bring back biological information and allow feature propagation. So that's why uh, you have to try to find can uh, characterize sequence sequence that is already characterized. So so try to uh, use them uh, in your study. So that's why it will enrich your study uh, with a lot of information. Uncharacterized sequence uh, distinguish between conserved positions and less important columns. So you can uh, use uh, them only to distinguish between uh, the conserved position and of course to see important places that is not mutate and other places less important that is mutate and change uh, during uh, the evolutionary time. Sequences that are so similar uh, to the query are properly homologues. We commonly refer to such sequences as hits or matches. So that when you do this, this search and you find that sequences are very very similar, more than 90% or whatever, so this most more probably is homologues. Of course further investigation is needed, but uh, uh, this will give you a very good hint uh, about uh, what you are looking for. So we'll talk about now program that can be used for uh, uh, and different program that can be used uh, in searching for uh, uh, sequences uh, to, to put it in your set. So one of the, uh, the program uh, that are very good to make a build a multiple sequence alignment is uh, uh, cluster omega because everybody use it is, is have a, a very high citation and a very strong uh, program. And it can, of course, generate a tree, uh, and uh, it uses hidden Markov uh, model profile profile techniques to generate, of course, alignment between at least three or more sequences. Uh, this is how it looks like cluster omega, and uh, mostly used. Uh, and of course, as you remember, uh, in the last lecture, we talked that it, uh, in um, uh, in Uniprot KB they use cluster omega. It's embedded in the in the uh, in the website, in the database. The, the second one uh, is uh, TCAFI. TCAFI combine uh, sequences, structure, and evaluate uh, evaluate the alignment, and of course can merge several uh, several multiple alignment into one. So that's why uh, it has many uh, many uh, uh, techniques and many modules inside it. So that's why it has a lot of option. So TOOLCAFE package is very good uh, for people who would like to have many uh, options inside the same uh, the same package. Um, muscle is most uh, is the fastest one, and of course you can find it either in the in the in the original website which is Drive Five, or you can find it also in ABI in inbuilt websites. So, uh, and you can just paste your sequence. The, the good thing about muscle is very fast and can uh, easily deal with large number of sequences. Cobalt, Cobalt is a constraint based multiple alignment tool that exists in NCBI. You can find it, you can find it in the, in the NCBI website. You can reach it easily and it can easily, uh, re you can easily use NCBI uh, accession numbers 
so uh, and it can use all the information uh, uh, that exists in NCBI so that's why it's it's uh, it's very good uh, 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 program for that also uh, the, the viewer like uh, MSA uh, V MSA V viewer multiple sequence alignment viewer that can be automatically show a lot of play good uh, good parts in your sick multiple sequence alignment when you use uh, cobalt you just so how to do that you just get well, after gathering your sequence you can just paste your sequence here and then align and you can everything will uh, show uh, to you thank you and uh, let's go to the next lecture